through the wreckage of what used to be the most advanced laboratory in the solar system. The catalyst you're holding can be monitored every time it is fired for the purpose of testing. So a faint, disrupted signal came to me every time it was used. I've personally watched as you travel through the waste removal center all the way to the power reserve room. I must say, well done. I apologize, but I have not introduced myself. I am Dr. Edmund Connery. So, this isn't a dream. <laughs> I apologize to inform you, young one, but this is not a dream. There will be time for the rest of your questions later, but you must come and find me. I am located in the subterranean sections library. The only problem is that I'm sealed behind this entrance, so you can't get in and I can't get out. It's a safety feature in the facility. When there's a lack of oxygen, the rooms are airlocked. Believe me when I say I would have come looking for you as soon as I saw some catalyst activity. Okay, so how am I going to... You have to restart the system manually. Uh, oh, I see. You must first manually start the heat distribution rig so that the air in those areas are not frigid enough to freeze your lungs. Then you must go back to the air distribution center where the system can be restarted. What if I need your help? Through that energy surge, the catalyst is now completely powered up. And the communication function is back online. I will be able to provide guidance. Now be careful. I will see you soon. Sensors indicate that one has been turned on. Only two more to go.
Outstanding. Now all you have to do is restart the air distribution system inside the room you came from. Again, you have exceeded my expectations. No offense. The door leading to the tram has been unlocked. Head over there and take the tram to my location. I assure you that your questions will be answered soon. seeing another face in person after so long. I've not gotten the opportunity to learn your name yet. Sorry, um, Sam. Is there a place I can just lay down for a bit? I feel like death. After your trip here, it's perfectly understandable. There are some couches in the other room there. Welcome back. Did you a magic apple or something? Because I thought you were never going to wake up. what's going on, or where I am. You have to start answering my questions. You don't know where you are. You're on the pride of the Hayward Bowen facilities, the original Europa facility orbiting Jupiter, leading in Tesseract-powered systems, interplanetary propulsion, and extraterrestrial biology. Since when do we have science labs around Jupiter? Humanity hasn't had anyone further than the moon. Humans have been traveling around the solar system for around 40 years. I was just starting off as a young physicist system the first propulsion system made this possible. We've done some research in our service to find that you were neither an employee nor an intern here in Europa. Can you tell me a little bit about the events that led you here? The last thing I remember was coming home after work and laying down. One minute, I'm in bed, then I'm falling from a few stories into some... A bunch of bright lights, like like lightning almost. And it was like a big ball of it swallowed me or something. In 1963, a compound in a small asteroid passing by Earth was found. It amplified the energy required to generate what was only theoretical wormholes. This was possible due to a subatomic particle that was discovered in this compound. We called it the Tesseract. We used the Tesseract to make other theoretical ideas possible. First came the long line of spacecraft propulsion technology that made inter-system travel a reality. In 1992, this facility was created to 
further advanced the progress of the potion systems and inadvertently invented a method of precisely creating small physics altering worlds. The catalyst you are holding was invented here as a safety tool for emergency situations. And what does this have to do with me ending up here? Well, we began work on a project that was not comparable to anything we've done before. We wanted to create interstellar travel using the catalyst technology, but a large amount of the tesseract material was needed to achieve this, much more than we originally thought. During a test, a star drive malfunctioned, causing wormholes on a much grander scale to open around Europa. These occurrences are called flares. From what we've been able to tell, they open rifts through a space outside of our comprehension. The leading idea was that it was actually bridging membranes through the multiverse. However, we never had any legitimate proof that this was the case until you arrived. I believe you were caught in one of these flares, so... So, because of these flare things, people are dying, or ended up in some other reality? Someone had to have heard about this. And I don't know, sent someone to rescue them or something. That might be a possibility if there were more of us alive, but currently the population includes you and I. If not, maybe a few others. Flares caused fatalities quicker than any plague. This area has been quarantined by the United Nations with the Haven Bowman Director's approval. No one's coming, sir. On the bright side, you approve that many of my colleagues may not be dead, but just transport them to another. Stay here for a while. I'm sure you can find something somewhat entertaining. 